I think it's incumbent on us to look back and ask ourselves, what does this jubilee mean for us? Does it mean that Ida and her family are going to continue the way they are? Does it mean that beyond four generations, we're going to have a fifth that lives in this way? And I think that if we do not answer this question positively, we are doomed as a nation. The foundation has been involved in developing legacy institutions. These are institutions that we are supported to uh, start, and now these institutions are a power to reckon with. And when we look back at what we've done in the last 100 years, we are very, very excited about you know, that, that kind of work. In engaging in this great adventure, we have learned a few things about innovation. We have learned that it is not only about developing new products like an iPhone or even a new variety of rice. There are other valuable forms of innovation as well. There are process innovations in the way we do things. There are organizational innovations that engage people in new and more effective ways. And social innovations are often recombinant that is combining different elements together to form a new and more powerful solution. As many of you know, we are doing this today by pairing microfinance with microinsurance for farmers in sub-Saharan Africa 